filming always comes with its hurdles. There's always a wide variety of problems that the producers and crew members run into on the set, but these issues rarely include extortion and threats of getting gravely injured. Sadly, this seems to be the case for one Apple TV production. In today's video, we'll be telling you all the problems Natalie Portman's series Lady in the Lake has come across during its filming process. Stay tuned to find out all about it. First up, let's see what What's going on? So the production of Apple TV's Lady in the Lake is facing a pretty unique but albeit serious problem while filming in Baltimore. Turns out that some of the locals have ganged up together in order to get some money out of the producers. The producers were even threatened that someone on the set would get shot. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Well, here's some slightly good news. No such thing happened as the team decided to delay filming rather than putting their life in that of their crew at risk. The latest update suggests that a suspect has finally been identified by the Baltimore Police Department. Apparently, a background investigation made it clear that this particular individual had a motive even. Phew, we're all really thankful for that. Hopefully, things will become easy for the producers now. Moving on, let's dig a little deeper. The police gave media outlets a statement which talked about one Keith L. Brown. This 43-year-old man from Pikesville, Maryland is a local street street vendor, who got very upset when he wasn't compensated for his lost business. This loss happened recently on the 26th of August, when he wasn't able to operate his business due to the ongoing production. Well, you might feel bad for him now, but maybe the producers should have given him at least some compensation. But what we're going to tell you next will definitely change your mind. The officers went on to say that Brown was observed to partake in narcotic sales. How's that for a plot twist? Later, this person was even arrested for similar charges. He then revealed that he had actually talked to the crew and asked them for the compensation, and now he was waiting for them to send in the required paperwork. While we can definitely expect them not to send any such stuff now, reports state that the official investigation is still going on, so we can't really give us any more details on this. But there's a lot more to uncover in this story. Let's learn more about the attempt at extortion. The local local police department revealed that when Lady in the Lake's filming was taking place on Park Avenue on Friday in the last week of August, a group came to the producers, and it was no ordinary group asking for autographs and everything. They actually threatened the poor guys that they'll only let the filming continue if they were paid $50,000. Now that's one way of making some quick money, but who's gonna break it to them that this isn't how things work out? First of all, that's completely illegal. And second, Secondly, it violates pretty much all of the moral codes. But they went ahead to pose this threat, so we can safely assume that they threw all caution to the wind. The producers obviously didn't agree to pay the huge amount of money, but that unexpectedly didn't sit right with the group. They ended up threatening them that if no payment would be made, someone would get shot in the evening. Sounds rather unnecessarily dramatic, doesn't it? Well, we're not really certain as to what made them so mad that they just had to take such drastic actions. Lastly, here's what the producers decided to do. Well, like any other wise leader, the production team decided that it wasn't safe to continue the shooting process. We agree that this was a good decision because right now, almost everyone has easy access to a gun. Apparently, they're hoping to continue shooting after finding a well-suited location. You know, one where they won't get extorted for money. All of this sounds too bizarre, to be honest. We live in a very strange world. And that's not all. From the looks of it, this group is actually a fan of waving guns around and threatening people. Sounds like a weird hobby. The studio responsible for making the series clarified that the threats weren't a one-of thing. In fact, even before production began, one of the drivers was confronted by a group. And apparently, those people weren't too afraid of letting others know that they were carrying weapons. It's rather interesting to note that this particular incident took place before any of the crew or cast members members even reached that location. So the entire loss of business play seems like a big facade now. We seriously think that these people were actually looking to make some money out of the production team. There just seemed to be no other rational explanations. The team, of course, held the security and safety of their crew as the number one priority, and so decided to pause the process for now. With the investigation currently underway, we sure hope that the Baltimore Police Department is soon able to identify 
identify other members of the group and bring them to swift justice. That's all we have for the unfortunate bump that the show seems to be facing in its production process. It's sad that the crew has to relocate as the novel the series is based on took place in 1960s Baltimore. We hope that things get sorted out easily and quickly. Now let's catch you up with what else has been going on with the show. First up, let's see what's next for The Lady in the Lake. Seems like the producers are ready to rise again. That sounds like good news, doesn't it? Let's see what it means for the production team. On Monday, Alma Harel, the creator of the series, took to Twitter in order to make things clear for the team and the fans. She clarified that production will resume with increased security procedures going forward, but Alma made sure that she didn't generalize. In a pretty lengthy thread, she thanked the citizens of Baltimore for their accommodation. She particularly mentioned the mayor of the city, Brandon M. Scott, along with the Baltimore Film Office. She went on to state that it was fortunate that no one was hurt and that they'll be continuing to film the rest of the series in the city as well. Well, if they hope to achieve a successfully completed shoot without any injuries, then the team is going to need some pretty high security. And fortunately, that's what they plan to do. Filming of this project began in April, and it's expected to end after fall. But at this rate, with the present hurdles, we just might expect a slight delay. Next, the series got Mark Feuerstein on board. Feuerstein, as we all know, is perhaps one of the coolest and most hardworking actors present in modern-day Hollywood. He's got some pretty big works under his belt, such as being the star of Royal Pains for eight seasons, The Babysitter's Club, and Power Book 2, Ghost. Looking at all his previous roles, we can safely assume that the man's got a wide range. So the news of him joining Natalie Portman on the set of Lady in the Lake is pretty amazing. The film already has a pretty cool lineup with two Oscar winners, Natalie Portman and Moses Ingram in the cast. All this has got us really excited to see the show, especially what Feuerstein will be bringing to the table. Lastly, here's all you need to know about the upcoming limited series. All the real-life drama during filming has made us pretty interested in what this drama series has to offer. The show is based on a novel written by Laura Lithman and is co-written by Alma Harrell and Dre Ryan. The story is seemingly inspired by things twisted true crime stories the writer came up with while working as a reporter for two decades. The show revolves around two actual disappearances of a girl and a young woman that occurred in Baltimore during the 1960s. These two cases weren't actually related, but the novel webs the story in a way that it seems that stories were tied together. The book was immensely successful, so it's no surprise that a streaming platform picked it up to make a limited series. Apart from Portman and Moses, Elon Noel will be joining the cast along with Byron Bowers, Josiah Cross, Mike Epps, Noah Jupe, Mark Feuerstein, and Pruitt Taylor Vence. There isn't really a concrete release day yet, but we can expect the series to hit our screen sometime in the next year. But the recent unexpected delays have us all worried that it might just get delayed for a very long time. Well, let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. And that's all we have for today, folks. Hope you liked this video. What do you think will be the outcome of this whole problem? Do you think production will continue soon or will they wait for long? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this.